Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you a bit about AI music and especially in this video we're going to focus on Magenta. Let me start by telling you a bit more about Magenta. Magenta is a research project by Google, so it's part of the Google AI and is built on the TensorFlow Python library which is awesome because it's completely open source. They focused on developing new deep learning and reinforcement learning algorithms and those are mostly for generating songs, images, drawings or other materials. They for example built the Google QuickDraw as well as the Sketch RNN demo which you can try online and it continues your starter drawings. It's pretty awesome. Also a pretty big project led by Magenta is the Nsynth but I'm gonna make a video about that later because that's a really complex topic I don't want to cover yet. I want to focus on Magenta Studio which is an open source tool made by Magenta to do pretty fun stuff with your music or with your MIDI actually. Magenta Studio consists of five tools and I'm just gonna give you a small example of what they do and you can use this as a Ableton Max for Life device or as a standalone application which is pretty awesome that they did something like this in a Max for Life application. Okay, so let's just get straight into it. And by the way, every plugin that does something with drums in Magenta Studio context uses specific pitch information. So try to orientate your drums to this pitch information. I'm just gonna let you know this table. I'm just gonna blend in now. And there you can see the pitches used for every single part of a drum rack. In Ableton, I prepared a little scene in the session view. One track with the chords, one track with the drums and another track just with the max for life device on it. You can see it down here. Um, I have prepared a little chords section over here with Nexus, just a basic piano, just a little chord section. There, pretty basic, and also a generic drum loop. They can play together, but I just want to mess around with them a bit. Using Magenta Studio. So, Let's begin with continue. Okay, so continue uses an algorithm to continue input clips or tracks. Or actually clips because they are on tracks. Doesn't matter. You can either input drums or melodies. I'm gonna choose drums for now, but it doesn't really matter. But for the algorithm it does. You can now choose the drums track where they are on and the drums clip. As seen here. And now you can choose how many variations in those two bars are. So I'm just going to leave it here and two. And you can also, um, the temperature slider is a bit like a wet and dry slider. You can choose how hard the effect is. I'm just going to leave it everything as it is and click on generate. You can now see that there are four clips generated. You can close continue now. and. They are all built on the drum clip I get them. So you can maybe see a bit, they are pretty similar. And also you can see this one here is just the clip we get get them, we put it in. And he built this out of it, as well as this and this. Next up we have interpolate. Interpolate creates a new MIDI clip out of two given input clips. For example, I could try to combine two drum clips to one. I can even try this with the drums clip we have here. So for example, on the drums clip, uh, we have this drums clip and this one. And we can even now say again, the draw in red slider here and how many steps. Click on generate. Close the window again and we can see that there is a combined version of both. Okay, so have a listen. Okay, so you can see what he did. He left one note here off the way and also kind of messed up the rhythm here. 
so he changed this a little bit a little bit here okay you can see what he did here he left the snare away here and also messed up the rhythm a bit but that's not really a problem but he put both tracks together you can clearly see that okay so let's talk about generate my favorite add-on or favorite part of the magenta studio and it pretty much just does what it says it generates a four bar loop okay so we can choose an output location here and i'm just gonna put this onto the magenta studio track right now and just slot one again i'm just gonna leave this here you can play with the sliders and i want a melody and i'll click on generate and here we go we have a four bar melody he came up with groove is a fun instrument to use because it just gets an input clip and recreates the same input clip but with a few variations and that's pretty interesting especially for drums so i'm just going to use again our drum clip right here and click on generate and done you can see it just generates a, a pretty long a pretty pretty long clip with a few more variations than my original clip and I really like this instrument also the velocity is much more interesting in the original clip it's just one velocity step I really like this instrument the last part of the Magenta Studio is Drumify I can again open it so Drumify just uses any input and creates a drum line out of it so for example you could create a perfect drum line to a bass line. Pretty cool usage. I'm just gonna use my chords, there we go, and try to create a drum loop. Again, you can see there's our drum loop. Okay, so this is turned out when you just created a drum loop and put it into a groove and drumify drums, and also created just a little chord line, and yeah, that's what it sounds like. It's not impressive or something, I just wanted to show you what's possible with AI today.